Hi, I'm Ryan with Front End Audio, and this is the Hairchild 660 Mono Tube Compressor from Heritage Audio. And yes, as you can deduce from the name, it is a clone of the Fairchild 660, which was invented by Ryan Narma, who emigrated here from Estonia in the 1930s, and then licensed his design to the Fairchild Company, who manufactured it for him. This is a very cool product. It is a limited run product. There's only a f like couple hundred or something like that being made for the entire world. And Front End Audio is very honored to be in possession of some of these at the time of this video. So we're gonna crack this open, take a look at it out of the box, show you what's so cool about it, and then try and find them their forever homes. So let's do a pinwheel fade and have this out of the box for you. All right, so before this takes center stage, I wanna go over the packaging with you real quick, just so you can see how much care Heritage Audio puts into making sure that these reach their destinations safe and sound. The box I had up here was the product box. That was in a larger shipping box that had a very similar sticker on the front of it, but had a bunch of these little foam blocks in it so that your product box is floating inside that shipping box. Also in the shipping box, is your IEC power cable. The unit itself had this plastic film over the faceplate to keep it nice and clean and protected and was suspended inside of this foam container. This is all glued together, so this is one big solid piece of foam that the unit slides down into. And you have this piece of foam right here that was going over the faceplate to keep everything nice and safe inside that product box, which is floating inside of the shipping box. Also, you have this thank you letter with your QR code that you scan to download your user's manual, which you're going to want to download because these function a little differently from modern compressors, have a little bit different controls, so you're definitely going to want to download that manual and read it so you know how to utilize this to the best of its capabilities. And here it is, the Hairchild 660. It looks beautiful and familiar. Let's look over the faceplate. You have your big, beautiful VU meter here. This shows you your gain reduction. Below that is your power LED. You have your power switch. You have your meter switch, and this will allow you to switch between gain reduction, meter calibration, and tube calibration. Below that, your set screw for your meter calibration and your set screw for your tube balancing calibration. You have your input gain here. This will allow you to attenuate the incoming signal up to 20 dB, so you can definitely balance that incoming signal. You have your AC threshold here, which is, well, your threshold, right? Same as on any compressor. Then you have your DC threshold. This is controlling your knee, your ratio, and your curve control all in one. Then you have your time constants. This is adjusting your attack and release speed from slowest to fastest, and below that, you have your side chain high pass filter, which goes from off all the way up to 350 hertz. This is very useful. We'll talk about that in a minute, but let's do a quick jump to the rear of the unit. And here's the rear of the unit. Now, as a guitarist, I love tubes, so seeing this many tubes <laughs> makes me happy because I usually have to look into the back of one of my half stacks to see that many tubes. Uh, you have really nice transformers, 11 tubes, big honking power transformers, you know, it's just a sight to behold. You'll also notice on the IEC connector that it's switchable. You can change this between 110 US and 220, so universal. You have your XLR inputs and outputs fully balanced. It is a mono channel compressor, so you only have the one set of inputs and outputs. That's the back of the unit. I'm just gonna give you a couple seconds to look at those transformers and those tubes. I love this design because all of this generates heat and heat's not really good for electronics, right? So having all of this on the rear of the unit allows it to dissipate properly and not build up inside the chassis. So this is going to help prolong the functionality and life of all of these components. I wish everything that ran tubes would do this. Plus, it just looks good. Again, take a second, look at it. 
Okay, so for any of you who have used any type of clone plugin, whatever, you probably know what is so cool about the Fairchild or Fairchild style compression, and it's how flexible it is. It's the fact that it can be used in a tracking situation, it can be used in a mixing situation, it can be used in a mastering situation because it can be subtle to extreme. You can get very tight and punchy, which is wonderful for drums, or you can get really kind of open, soft, and floaty. And it can be that thing that can really work for a number of applications. I, for one, really love using 670 style compressors for drum bus and mix bus. This, on the other hand, being a mono version, would be wonderful for bass guitar, clean electric, and vocals. Things where you really want to be able, like with bass guitar, for instance, me being into punk, prog, and metal, I would want to use this to tighten up the bass and get it more forward and dynamic so that it's very percussive like the drums and would fit that syn syncopation, you know, the things that, that really kind of drive the punchiness and the fluidity of the music. So having that capability is really nice. Having the sidechain high pass filter really allows you to choose, because obviously if I'm affecting a bass guitar, I don't need anything to the lower notes, right? The lower notes are going to be big and energetic and have lots of sustain. So I'm going to want to balance those with the mid and higher pitch notes so that everything comes off a lot more balanced. And by getting rid of the lower information in the compressor so that the compressor is not reacting to that, Right, that low information is just passing through with the rest of the audio, but it's not being, it's not affecting the compressor. Those little aspects are how you really get that balance. So when you get into the higher notes, they're just as even and just as cutting and present as the lower notes and have that good sustain. So this is a very, very powerful compressor. Plus, with the transformers and the tubes, it's just musical. Okay, tubes give you a smoothness, they give you an accuracy, they give you a life, they give you an openness, a three-dimensionality, a natural reverberation, a natural space. So having all these tubes, you know, is just going to impart so much analog character. And the transformers on top of it, when you blend that second order and third or order harmonic distortion, it just becomes magical and just makes everything more musical and more pleasant to listen to. So. While these are a premium grade compressor that come at a price point, they are worth their weight in gold. The Fairchild compressor uh, is heralded as one of the best compressors ever designed. And to have a modern production, albeit a, a limited run, to have a modern production, you know, that's actually within reasonable grasp for a lot of commercial and pro studios, that's just a really nice offering. And to have it backed by the Heritage name, which Heritage Audio has built a great reputation of building high quality gear, uh, this is just a very exciting piece to have. And I'm, I'm thrilled that Front End Audio was lucky enough to actually get some of these in stock and be part of this limited run of really nice high-end specialized gear. So that is the 660. We are going to be doing some demos of this, so take a look at those. We will be running kick drum, snare drum, bass guitar, and vocals all through it, and uh, maybe even mono drum overheads. But we also have the 670, so look out for our out of the box on that, as well as our demos on that. For more information on the Hairchild 660, all the great products brought to you by Heritage Audio and for all your pro audio needs, please do check us out on the web at www.frontendaudio.com. Thank you.